Hey guys, it's Chris of Battle Beaver Customs. Today, we're going to be installing these new, the Xbox One style replacement sticks. You can see they look a little different. Uh, these are s extremely similar to OEM style. The thickness here on the inside is going to be same as stock. This actual outside part is the same as stock. And the only difference being this hole in the center is slightly smaller than the stock one. If you put them side by side, you can see this edge is slightly further out. Um, which actually I think is a unique thing because on here, when you go side to side, you can kind of feel your thumb catching that edge. And it's because there's a hard circle, that groove in there. The thumb gets in it, kind of hurts. That's why I saw so many of the dome styles, which I still think is a better option overall. But these are for you guys that like the OEM style. The ridge here isn't near as rough on you, so it feels a lot softer. So I'll throw them in real quick. Um, one thing you're going to note here that these are Chinese parts, they come from factory in China where they kind of reverse engineer stuff and they aren't exactly perfect so you'll notice a lot of people wind up selling them there's gonna be a ton of people selling them on eBay uh, just like 360 and PS3 the only downside is nobody tells you how to make them work properly and what I mean by that is a fitment if you've ever bought in a set of my domed sticks you'll notice that they are really tight when you put them on the thumbstick module reason being is you don't want any slop here so here you have your setup and there's no slop between the thumbstick and the mechanism now there's a little bit of slop on the return to center and a lot of people complain about that but you can't have any slop on there when you put on these replacement ones, you'll see if you just throw them on there, you can see that little bit of slop in there. That's moving before the mechanism goes anywhere. And you don't want that. You'll note if I take like one of my domed sticks, a little bit tougher to put on, and that's because the hole is cut to where there's zero slop on there. It's moving the thumbstick right off the bat. So what you want to do is to take a little piece of electrical tape. We need a little bit of southern ingenuity here guys. And I will probably wind up putting a little piece of electrical tape on the outside of the packages when you guys buy them. Here's what you want to do. Just take, cut just a little strand. See this is really small piece of it here and you want to put it where it's going front to back so there's these flat spots we'll call those sides you want it front to back just put it there in the middle fold it down and you'll notice that just goes a little ways down the stick you don't want to cover it up enough to where you're going into the mechanism anything crazy just enough to shim them into place Take your thumbstick, slide it on there, and what does that do? Eliminates all of your slop. So now you have a stiff thumbstick. The difference of it, I mean, fine engineering, it's, we're talking less than a millimeter. I mean, this is probably, oh heck, whatever the thickness of electrical tape is. Do the same thing to the other side. And pop that on. It's always a little bit harder to do when I'm trying to do it under a camera. So I'm almost doing this through the camera. There we go. So that's on there. If you guys haven't seen one of my videos taking apart a controller and putting it back together, uh, and just lifted the faceplate off 
if for some reason this middle section comes out, when you go to put it back in, you'll see your two slots. This is the biggest thing people always mess up on. You have your two metal battery contacts. You have to make sure these will want to naturally go behind them. And if they go behind, your batteries won't work. So make sure those fit inside those slots. Pull your triggers down just a little bit to where they pop in place. And then make sure that's snug. Do that. Drop your faceplate on. And then put some screws in. For the sake of time, I'm only going to throw in a couple screws. And then, once you get your screws on, your side caps, just pop right back on. I do this a little bit more detailed in some other videos, so if you need to, you can watch the other ones. So here's where you have what you have. Thumbsticks are on there. These actually feel a lot better. Um, I'm not going to say I like the OEM feel, but where a lot of people complain about that ridge digging into their thumb, I think they would find these to be a lot more comfortable. They're a lot smoother on the top. They feel a little bit more like a a little good broken in 360 stick. Just a little bit smoother contour there. The insides may not be as deep, but if you can see, we get a good comparison here. The difference, I think the stock one, the divot in the center is a little bit deeper than the remanufactured one. And that hole size you can tell is just a little bit smaller on the new one. So, feels a little bit better. Try them out. If you want, you can also mix and match. A lot of guys like to have a dome stick on one side, concave on the other. What I'll be doing is if you buy a domed set, you can send me a note telling me to mix them. Where I'll set up an, au an auction with all the different colors on there. And what I'll do is it'll be an auction for a mixed set where you have to put in the notes the color of each of the sticks. So a domed blue or a concave or Xbox One style pink or, you know, you'll need to put the style and the, sh and the, the color. So until next time, guys, this is Chris of Battle Beaver Customs. Talk to you soon.